Hey Planet Friends, it is April with Pugs and Crafty, and this video is going to be my August plan with plan with me, I cannot talk today, for the month of August, and I'm using a kit from Sticker Sensations, uh, so let's go ahead and just jump right in. Um, so this is the envelope, I love that her um, shop information is printed on it, and you get this cute little business card that shows her information. Um, so this is how you can connect with her, her Etsy page, um, Instagram, fa uh, YouTube, Facebook, and email. This is her freebie sampler sheet, um, which is super cute. Um, I love the little three heart checklist. You've got some regular checklist, little things to do, the page flag, a bow paper clip, and a little marquee sign here. Super adorable. And then um, the monthly kit, you've got your... Um, Headers here, your date dots, things to remember, some flags, um, some additional filler washi, which I'm sure will come in handy, um, your payday flags, bill due flags. I will not be using these. Um, you've got your um, sidebar stickers um, with um, headers, <laughs> I can think, um, some functional icons, some more flags here. Um, birthdays. Um, I do have a couple birthdays for the month of August, um, so that'll definitely come in handy. I feel like the white balance is really off. I don't know. We'll see how it looks in the video. Um, and then a lot of little things here. We've got some remember, get it done, to pack, um, important, some more icons, um, rescheduled, canceled, nope, um, arrows, checklist, shopping, treat yourself. <laughs> I think that's super adorable. Um, some quarter boxes, um, relax, brunch, girls night, day off, date, nails, hair, um, appointments. Um, really cute little things. I love all the extras that are in here. Because it is a new month, um, I am going to be changing out my planner cover. Um, but I also wanted to show you, so this is one of the 5 miller, five millimeter um, bow washies from Simply Gilded. I'm going to be using to mark some time off. Let me see if I can get this to focus. Um, why aren't you focusing? Come on. Why are you being a pain in the butt? There we go. Now it's focused. Alright, so there is that. Um, this is the lavender with um, gold foil bows. Alright, so I will speed through this part. Um, so let's go ahead and get it um, going. So I chose this one because, um, to me, sunflowers um, represent August because that is when they are um, in prime viewing. There is a spot down by the Denver International Airport where you can really see, um, there's a huge field. Um, I've seen pictures of it, I haven't been yet, so that is a bucket list item for the, uh, the month of August for me to be able to go see and photograph is the sunflower field field at sunset so definitely keep an eye out for that all right so i'm going to fast forward through this i'm just going to rip off um this cover and replace it with this cover Alright you guys, I am back, so there is the, sorry, all wonky here, new covers on, so this is Erin Condren, the cover that I had on last month is from um, Stylish & Co, or the Stylish Planner if you're on Etsy, um, she's on Facebook, or she's on um, her own page and on Etsy, um, like I said, this is an Erin Condren cover, I am just going to transfer my Erin Condren um, corner pockets here. Um, the nice thing about these is they are transferable a couple of times. They stay sticky, which is really nice. I'll worry about all my sticky notes later. <laughs> they aren't as important. So, um, I love every month setting up the new covers. It keeps it fresh, and it's like getting a new planner every month, right? Alright, so that is done, so let's go ahead and flip to the month of August. As you can see, I have all the things going on. 
Um, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Like I said, I've got my sticky notes. Um, I've got birthdays to remember. Um, and I will leave those on here for now. Um, this bow is from Simply Gilded. Um, it's a sticky note that I have. Um, some goals. Um, I will leave the birthday stickers on for now so I don't forget them. Um, and we will jump right in with our um, covers. Alright. So, um, so far I've been lucky enough to have one three-day weekend if you will although it's not ooh, it's not really a weekend because it's in the middle of the week um, every month um, to go explore and I just got back today is my the last day of my little three-day weekend and um, today is Thursday July 26th and we were just down in um, Buena Vista um, doing a little bit of exploring we came back last night because we got rained out um, it was it started raining quite a bit, and so we came back um, yesterday. We were supposed to stay there through today um, and come back today, but we just... The, the um, trailer that we converted to a camper, if you will, whatever you want to call it, um, to a... Oh no, I ran out of whiteout. Um, was just way too small to be able to... Um, spend a significant amount of time in and so we decided to pack it all up and just come back um, so of course we packed everything up in the rain um, and came back home it was about a three hour trip um, we at one point we drove through a cloud which was really interesting it, it looks like you're driving through fog but on but it actually really and truly is a cloud which was really crazy um, definitely a first for me um, but definitely very neat uh, I think I go no I was right okay I've not used one of Sticker Sensations monthly kits before. I've used her weekly kits. Um, so this is new. Alright, so there is the top part of it. Now i got to figure out... And that's so pretty. And I thought about doing sunflowers, but I was like, well, I'm going to be doing sunflowers um, for the cover. So I don't want sunflower overkill. Um, that's why I elected to do a different one and there's still flowers and they're still really pretty and um, I know it's not traditional summer it is kind of a spring kit but it's still really pretty and I like it uh, oh this goes up here I was like where does this go oh looky there it's a puzzle piece very cute I feel like I need to go, it's fine, whatever. Okay, so then I need to put one here for the first. And I kind of like, are the flowers overkill? Maybe I should do, I like this, because it's got the little um, notebook in it. There we go, adorable. All right, and then, okay, now the sidebar, I think, do I, I would assume they just all fit, right? So I'll start with green, <laughs> we'll figure it out, right? Um, so what I've been using the sidebar for is to mark um, goals, oops, I'll zoom you the right way and not jack up my camera here. There we go. Um, goals and plans. My to-do list. Um, reading list. And um, all of that fun stuff. There we go. Okay, so the next is pink. I feel like I kind of want to break it up with the gray. There we go. Cute. I 
it's a little crooked. Okay, there we go, perfect. And then, so after I get this done, um, the monthly done, I also want to do kind of a July overview. Um, or a July in review. I was gonna do it first, but I got sidetracked by this beautiful kit. Um, ah, come on. I don't like the way this is lining up, you guys. Let me see if I can. Well, it's just gonna have to cut it off a little bit. But you can see it underneath, and I don't have any more white out. I suppose I could just put a picture. That's what I'll do. There's one of these pictures. Anyway, so what I was saying was for my July, um, you know, I want to go back and kind of do in review um, as far as what I, ooh, I don't, maybe I can cut off, because I don't want to cut off the September, because I like that there. Maybe if I go... <clears throat> How much do I need to cut off? Because honestly, I don't need too much. How about I take my scissors here and just cut off? I don't know how straight this is going to be, but we'll wing it. I don't think it was too bad. It looks pretty straight. And then... I can just put this right up against here, like that, and then see how much I need to cut off the bottom. Hardly anything at all. Okay, good. So then I'll just cut off a little bit here, like that. All about improvising. Perfect. All right, there we go. And then I can line this up. Okay. There we go, perfect. Okay, so there is that. Let me zoom back out. I am just having all kinds of issues this time around, you guys. There we go, okay. So there we go, so there is my sidebar. Okay, so I have three birthdays, so let me put those down really quick so I don't forget. It's a shame that they're all the same color. I would have liked to have, to have the options of the different colors. So we'll put this one here. Um, that way, you know, guy, men's birthdays aren't pink, but I don't just have to do. Oh my goodness. And I didn't mention in the beginning, this kit is a matte kit, because um, whenever possible, that is what I get. Um, I have worked with glossy kits before, I'm not opposed to them, I just prefer matte. Okay, so I'm gonna just stick that here for now and then do the next one. Here. Try to get as straight as possible. All right, and then last one. So I don't know if you guys were watching last month, but I no longer mark the bill dues in my monthly because I do them in my weekly. And I also have a bill tracker now that I use here to keep track of my bills. Um, and that way I'm not being redundant about it. Um, it's just easier that way. Um, it gets a little overwhelming to have it in so many different places, at least for me. So I just find it easiest to keep, do the the monthly one on the little placard, which this is Erin Condren um, insert thingy. So and then um, doing it in the weekly spread. 
um, that way I can keep track of everything and that way I know if it's been paid because some of them are automatic out of my bank account um, and I do the weekly ones just so that I know it's getting ready to come out of my bank account um, so I can account for it all right so I'm gonna do my date dots real quick so I don't forget um, and I'm having to go back in and edit the video later um, so I will speed through this so I'll be back in just a minute guys I am back and I got all my date dots down um, so next I'm gonna go ahead and mark my paydays um, I think I have mentioned in the past that I used to mark them on Thursdays I've kind of given up on that they come in late on Thursday so I have just relegated myself to marking them on Fridays um, even though like I said I do technically still get paid on late day Thursday um, our official payday is Friday. I have three this month. Um, I have the third. I have the 17th. And the 31st. Of course, this is a no spend month for me. Um, Got to catch up on. We're gonna... There we go. Going out to Seven Falls if we can. Um, if it's open on a weekday. Uh, it is a really cool area. We haven't been. Um, but we'd like to go. Um, it's seven different layers of waterfalls. Um, and it's a nice hike. And um, it is a path. And it's stairs. And... All that fun stuff, and it looks really pretty, and I'm looking forward to it. And it's a really pretty town that it's in, too, so it should be fun. All right, I think, so I've got my birthdays, um, got my days, off, well, that three-day weekend, or week, and I've got my paydays, um, sidebars done, I got that done, let me zoom back out, I got my date dots on. Honestly, you guys, I think that is everything. So there is the month in review. Um, I don't have any appointments in August that I need to really think about. Nothing important at this point. Um, I haven't scheduled anything. I am working on planning something. Um, either the 14th or the 4th or the 5th um, with some friends and if I do I'll mark it in here um, like a brunch or something like that but we'll see um, I'm on a no spend so don't have to worry about any of that and that is it so the next thing I want to go over and that way so if you guys are, don't want to see anything else you can go ahead and turn off now and I really appreciate you watching um, so for those of you that want to stick around I am going to go back to the beginning of my planner and I am going to fill in 
Um, my books I have read for the month of July. Um, I still am working on one book and I know that the month of July is not over yet but I can at least get a head start on this. Um, and I am going to pull out um, a navy pen. So this is a Papermate Ink Joy Gel Pen. Um, it is a .7 and this dries pretty fast and it actually writes really well on the Erin Condren paper so I don't have to worry about bleeding which is really nice. Um, I did a significant amount of reading, including the book that I am reading right now, which is not on my list. I've read nine books. Um, I have one, two, three, four from J.R. Ward, um, one from Maisie Yates, um, two from Allison R. Collins, and one from E.J. Russell, and then the one I am currently reading right now is from Janine Frost. All right, so I need to be able to make room for all of these, um, so this should be fun. So I will probably start up here, I think, and just kind of work my way down. Um, so again, the first one is The Thief, and that is by J.R. Ward. Um, this is part of the Black Dugger Brotherhood series. If you have not read it, I highly recommend you do. It is a phenomenal series. I read them out of order, so technically this is the most current book. Um, it is the last one to be released. Um, Blood Kiss, Blood Vow, and Blood Fury are from the um, Black Dagger Legacy, and you should read these three before you read this one. Otherwise, you can still read them out of order. It makes sense, but these make references um, regarding this. So unless you read these first, you won't really understand. Or it makes more sense if you read these and then read this. Let's put it that way. So, all right. So then I read Blood Kiss. from J.R. Ward. Alright, and then we'll move over here so I have room. Blood Vow. J.R. Ward. Blood Fury. I'm still on frame here. Alright, and then, um, and I'm putting these in the order that I read them, um, not in the order that they should go, um, just because it makes more sense for me that way. Um, next one I read is Claim Me Cowboy, um, which is part of the Copper Ridge series um, by Maisie Yates. Highly recommend it. I just got to meet her. I was super excited. Um, she came to Denver along with another 300 authors um, for a f literacy fundraiser. It was actually not entirely for that. The, um, what is it called? The Romance Writers of America National Conference was here in Denver this year. And they hosted or um, held a um, fundraiser um, for the literacy, some sort of literacy coalition. I'm drawing a blank at the moment. I apologize. But um, it was a huge success. I think they raised close to $40,000 um, for literacy here in the Denver area, and it was fantastic. Um, I bought one, two, three, four, five, six books um, for Five of them are autographed. Um, I've read three of them so far. <laughs> I have two more. Um, one of them, of course, is Maisie Yates that I purchased. I'm super excited. Um, and it was really a fantastic time. Um, it was a little overwhelming. There were a ton of people there. <laughs> I mean, you can just imagine. You get 300 authors in a room, and you can just imagine how many people are going to attend for said authors. So... Alright, so the next book is A Family for the Rancher.
this was a new to me author um, and again this is Allison B. Collins after I um, sought out uh, Maisie Yates and another author Carolyn Sparks um, I kind of wandered around and um, kind of perused other authors to see if anything caught my eye and Allison's books um, this series here really caught my eye and so I bought two of her books and I had one autographed and loved them both and I'm really looking forward to the next book in the series it was fantastic um, the next one is Cutie and the Beast this one is um, kind of in the paranormal realm um, of romance. It has um, fairies and druids and all kinds of really cool things in it. Um, also a new to me author and I really enjoyed it. This was E.J. Russell. And then Falling for the Rebel Cowboy. Gotta make sure everything fits because I still have one more book to add here. Because <laughs> um, I know I'll finish it before the month is over. There we go. Alright, so there is my lovely list. And that is as far as it's going to zoom. So. Um, I will show you again. So these are um, all of the books I have read so far this month. Um, definitely encourage you to check them out. Um, if you enjoy reading um, Paranormal, um, the Black Dagger Brotherhood series by J.R. Ward is phenomenal. Highly encourage you to read it. Um, the book I'm reading right now by Janine Frost is part of, is the first book in the Night Huntress series. Um, again, by Janine Frost. It is fantastic. Um, it is a beloved series. This is my third time reading it, and I am reading it because I have an opportunity um, to meet Janine Frost in October. Um, I am going to Atlanta, Georgia to meet her, and I will once again get to um, have a book signed by Maisie Yates at that time as well, which is super exciting. I can't wait. Thank you guys so much for watching and putting up with me. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video in all of its discombobulated glory. Um, again, my name is April and this is Pugged and Crafty. And I hope you like and subscribe down below. Have a great day. Bye-bye.